What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm back. Sorry that it's been a while, I guess. Um, it was a stressful weekend last week. Um, Winter Storm, whatever the fuck her name is, came, knocked my power out. So I didn't have power all weekend, so I was over it. So mentally, I just was not in a position to record a video because I was over it. It was a lot going on with me mentally last week, so I paid it. But I'm back. This video, we are talking about sex and mind, and this video is going to be me answering questions from the Hymn Podcast. First, about sex. Secondly, about mental health. So, yeah. Beat it up like... All right, we're just gonna get right into it. So question one they asked, and this is from podcast episode 15, I believe. They had an episode that was about raw sex. Um, and this this where the first ring of questions coming on, and the second half is gonna be about mental health. I'm um, about an episode that came out this past Wednesday uh, called Mental Wealth. So yeah, we'll just get right into it. Thank you for him podcast for existing. Um, shout out to y'all. Um, but yeah, here we go. Question one, what are your thoughts on casual sex between otherwise platonic friends, yay or nay, why or why not? Nope, not me, not Timothy, not anymore at least. Um, I think when you're growing up and you're learning, it's an experience, so you're just, you're around people like you, so I can see why the sexual attraction can be there while you're growing with somebody. But I think platonic friends, um, I can speak for me personally, sex is something that I do joke about not having emotions in or whatever it may be, but I do think I do attach some form of emotion to sex. So I would never, at least now, in this this era of me, this chapter of my life, and probably most likely moving on will I have sex with a platonic friend because that's just not something that I want. Um, and there's nothing wrong with people that do it. It's just for me personally, I don't, nah. If you don't mind sharing, what was your best sexual experience ever or so far and what made it so good? <laughs> um, this is not safe for work. So mom, if you're watching, turn this off right now. Yeah. I hold things to my life. Um, I attach them to moments in my life. So to be childish, honestly, the best sex I ever have is the first time I ever got my ass ate, which was a long time ago, but baby. <laughs> also, there was this time recently that happened, but we're not gonna talk about that because we letting that go. But probably around the first time, definitely was, it was that girl, shout out to Fonz, because that was, it was that girl. It really was, like, it was just an experience that I had. Do you believe that sexual skills can plateau? What, if any, ways can you get one better in bed. Um, what ways can you get someone better in bed? I do not think I do think sexual skills can plateau, but that plateau does not necessarily happen at a certain point. Um, and I think it plateaus only because people aren't opening to new things. Now, some of those new things may be to add other people or do other kinks and stuff that are not necessarily socially acceptable right now. But I think that's what we as people need to let go because, girl, <laughs> listen. If you want to bring a couple people into the room, bring them. <laughs> Four, if you don't mind sharing, do you have any fetishes or kinks? Have you experienced positive and negative response to them? It's no shade, but bitch abuse me. Regardless of position, like, wear me out. Like, now, I do, I am open to dating outside my race, so that does come to with some restrictions for certain groups of people. But other than that, baby, if I can breathe still, you ain't doing it right. Question five, and that's the last question when it came, comes to sex. Um, what are your thoughts on one night stands? Have you ever had a one night stand and turned to something else? Actually, funny thing, um, my thoughts, one night stands happen where adults we live. I think we, I think nothing's wrong with one night stands as long as you're safe and you're smart about it. Definitely share your location all the damn time. Definitely always have protection on your own personal protection. Even if that's one of those little ketchup size packets of lube in a condom, sis, believe me, it's gonna, it's better than nothing. Um, but also, I have had one night stands that have turned to more. Actually, um, one of my first times dating, my first experiences dating, or one of my most memorable times dating, is a one night stand that turned to more. More of a one night stand that turned to a summer fling to now my friends be like, girl, I used to talk to him. So, you know, it happens. But it's whatever. Um, 
But yeah, that's it when it comes to the sex questions. Shout out to him again, because they're about to be part of part two. Um, I'm just gonna start this over, so I have time to record. Yeah. <laughs> So the first part, those were five questions, five, four or five questions, I believe, that I did, uh, questions from him's podcast that they did, episode 15, that was about sex. Um, this one is about mental health, something that I hold myself on, I love. Everyone should pay attention to your mental health. Fuck what people think, girl. If you're mentally not okay, you're not okay. Physically, you'd be fine. Um, internally, you'd be good. But in mental health, girl, you need to, that's something you need to work on. Okay, bam. Um, again, these are all, these are going to be on the Him Podcast Twitter, which I am going to link below. Um, make sure you check them all out. Check out Aaron, Seth, Trey, and Malik, because they are definitely talking in a space that needs to be talked about, talk about things that need to talk about. Um, definitely four different personalities, four different aspects. I live for it. I consider myself the fifth honorary member, to be honest, because um, those are my bitches. Um, but now, but now we're going to talk about mental health. So, Let's talk about it. Um, I'm just gonna answer. They have five questions here that are about um, mental health. So we're just gonna talk about mental health. Um, the first part is about sex, which I do, I think I does tie to mental health. That's why I had this part also into it. But whatever, anyways, going for it. Question one, when it comes to mental health, growing up, was mental health wellness an area of importance in your household? No. And I think that is why I think it's something that it, it happens a lot in black households, which I do think. Uh, it's something that has is tending to change now, but I can be honest, growing up, mental health was not discussed in my household um, because we didn't necessarily know about it. It wasn't necessarily something that was frowned upon or we pushed it aside. We were not aware of mental health. I know growing up now um, with mental health issues that I have um, when it comes to my anxiety and other things, I am open with my family about it. And I definitely make sure they keep their mental health going. I have a younger brother that's still living at home. Um, so I do make sure mental health is always there. Um, it does something that does need to happen. Question two. Growing up, was religion, spirituality, an area of importance in your household? Yes, it was. Um, yes, I grew up Baptist, Baptist Christian. Um, that's not necessarily the lifestyle I live now, but I, do grow up, I did grow up that lifestyle. Um, yeah, that's it. And I guess that does play a part of your mental health because that goes about how you're handling it. Because prayer, I love my Christians down. Actually, mm, because prayer sometimes there's not something that can always be handled when it comes to mental health if you're not actually physically going out there and making the change. Sometimes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna step over back to younger me when I was part of that religion side. Sometimes the doors are getting open in a way that you have to look for them, not open in a way where they're right in front of you. That's all I will say about that. Number three, what are your thoughts and beliefs that the current generation may be too high, strong, and sensitive? Absolutely not. I think what happens is, and I'll use today for example, when it comes to Bruno Mars cultural appropriation discussing. I do not think people are too high strong or too sensitive. What I do think happens is people are not open to listening to other people's opinions. And the people that have the most opinions right now are the younger generation. And we're not open to listening to their opinions because we're stuck in our ways, which we have learned from other people that this is how we want it, so this house should be. And they made a change and that's why they feel like that. And it's gonna happen again, it's an endless cycle. We need to change that cycle. Um, I definitely do not believe that um, they are high stronger sensitive. I do think there's some issues where they make people in general make issues out of certain things. But I think being sensitive and high strong is also being attached to having a different opinion and me stating my opinion and me wanting you to respect my opinion. And that's why I think people will say that. Um, what, if any, are some stigmas around mental health that you might like to unlearn? Right now, um, I really don't have that many stigmas. Um, because I'm very open, for me personally, I'm very open with mental health and mental health discussions. Um, I do think there are some discussions that do need to talk about when it comes to bipolar. Um, I do think that um, bipolar is something that we joke around with, oh yeah, I'm bipolar, or oh yeah, I'm stuck in my ways, or whatever whatever it may be. I think there's times where we need to learn about it and not, um, and not use it in a sense of joking or self-identifying when it's not really there because you can't identify with it. If you get what I'm saying, kind of rambling, hmm, that's what you get, hmm, I'm not repeating myself. Now let's see, number five, do you practice any, do you practice mental wellness or any tips for us? Yes, mental health is something that I say over and over and over again. I do a pay attention to mental health. Um, definitely check out your friends, strong, strong friends, weak friends. Actually gonna link that video below as well. Check it out. Um, but mental health is something that is very serious to me. Um, any tips I have, I would say express yourself. 
I started my YouTube July last year and my mental health has went up from there only because it's a way to get thoughts out in my head which is healthy um there's nothing wrong with writing stuff down there's nothing wrong with drawing if that's the way like just express yourself don't be willing to share but also don't be afraid of alone time but also on the opposite spectrum of that don't be afraid to throw yourself out there um you're not going to be able to know who you are until you learn who you are if that makes sense um, but that's it with the questions. Again, all these questions came from the Hem Podcast. Make sure y'all check them out. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. We have some things I have to show you. So I have a hat that I got in the mail because I found people are actually finally starting to send me stuff. Um, and some other things. So this is from Ghost Orchard Nobility. They have a t-shirt line coming out in May. I'm actually one of the I w what do I want to say? What's the word I want to use? One of the people that's helping promote with that. Um, but it's not my brand at all, just helping out. Um, they sent me a Skelly, and this Skelly is actually very thick and very warm. Um, I actually should have wore it. I didn't really go with my aesthetic. But, you know, whatever. It, it's, it didn't go with my aesthetic that I wanted in this video. Very warm hat. I do love it. Um, I'm going to definitely be wearing it because it's still cold. Especially since it's supposed to get like a foot of snow on Wednesday. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and also... I got some artwork. So this is gonna be up in the background in the next video. This is, um, I forgot who this was by, actually. I'm gonna put their social media below. Let's see, hold on one second, sorry, sorry. Um, at keep it OG underscore. So I'll put his social media below. He painted these, I'm not sure how much these were, it was donated to me. Um, yeah, pretty dope. I'm definitely gonna put them on my wall somewhere. Um, but that, just letting y'all know, love black artists, love black art. Definitely send me your stuff. I definitely will put it up. Oh, this is actually a good spot for it right here. But, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for sharing. Mental health is important. Him podcast. Tim now. Beat it up like...